Bay Area drivers are getting ready to share the road with self-driving cars. Ready or not, autonomous car company Waymo gearing up to test its vehicles. The Google-owned company has already gotten approval from the DMV to operate in five peninsula cities. KPI X5's Devin Feely live in Mountain View where that car of the future getting closer <laughs> to reality and drivers do have some questions about it. Devin? Yeah, imagine if I told you guys five or ten years ago that you would soon be sharing the road that might with cars that might not have a human driver behind the wheel or maybe not even anywhere inside of that vehicle. Well, that time is soon becoming a reality. And if that idea still makes you a little bit nervous, you're not alone. I would feel a little leery until it's been on the road for a while. Waymo got permission from the DNV in late October to roll out a fleet of 39 fully self-driving cars in five peninsula cities, including Mountain View, Palo Alto, Sunnyvale, Los Altos, and Los Altos Hills. The company's holding a series of public meetings to provide information to people who question if the technology is truly road ready. Like anything with technology, getting all the glitches out at the beginning, my concern is what if anything major happens in the beginning that causes accidents. According to the DMV, Waymo self-driving fleet can travel up to 65 miles per hour and operate in light rain and fog day and night. They are not, however, permitted to drive in snow or ice, heavy rain, on flooded roads, off-road, or on one-lane mountain roads. The DMV says their permit doesn't require a human driver behind the wheel or in the car at all. For any technology to be developed, there is going to be some sacrifices that people have to go through. Engineering professor Fred Perez says while the technology isn't perfect, it's getting closer every day. Unfortunately, there could be accidents that are going to take place, but we are all moving in the right direction. The application of driverless vehicles would be a tremendous opportunity for the mankind. But tell that to anxious drivers who fear that the road ahead for self-driving cars may still be a bit bumpy. Definitely for me that sense of more machines taking over the, over our activities um, is more unsettling than gratifying or satisfying. I talked to a spokesperson for Waymo and they say that while their ultimate goal is a fully autonomous vehicle, in the initial phase of this testing they will have a human behind the, uh, the steering wheel or at least somewhere inside of that vehicle. In Mountain View, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. That'll provide some comfort. All right, Devin, thanks.